everyone, it's the Witchy Stitchers. I'm Charlene. And I'm Morgan. I just realized I have horns. <laughs> the devil's coming out today. And this is what happens when I just take it down to do a video. <laughs> so you guys tell, like, shower, eat breakfast, and let's film. <laughs> so guys, I'm button incompetent. It took 15 tries to hit the start button. We got you today. <laughs> we got you. So she went and she got the light that we use to sew Our with. stitching light. And I, I feel like you ladies will understand the lights on. You get it. I feel like I'm going to the dentist, so you know. Of oh, yeah, the dentist. But the cameras, like the, the TV overhead to watch National Geographic is. I like when they have the lions trying to attack the meerkats. That's always satisfying to oh, watch. Yeah, that, that makes you feel good when you know they're getting ready to rip a hole in your mouth. Did you get all that? It'll be a test at the end of the video. All right, you didn't come to listen to lions. <laughs> lions, assaulting. tigers, and bears are mine. That's right. Um, so welcome to our channel. Uh, we are the Witchy Stitchers, um, a mom and daughter duo who love to cause havoc, discontent, cynicism, sarcasm, <clears throat> and a little bit of profanity thrown in once in a while because we have nothing else to do but to entertain you people. Obviously, we don't have a life. Um, today is the 8th of January. This is our second, no, this is our first video of the year. It is, yeah. Because we, we didn't do one last week. We did it on Thursday because I had to work on New Year's we Day. We did. We tried to come to on Fridays because we have to make our political statement of remember everybody deployed and wear red. There you go. Um, to those of you who have served, are serving, thank you for what you do for our country. Um, it is a balmy 20 degrees today. Look what I got in the frame today. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, we might be able to wear shorts today. Maybe. I was running around in a t-shirt yesterday. I'm super excited because I started the temperature tree, which we will show you in a bit, from Sarah at Stitching Mommy. Hi! Sarah, hi, Cinnamon! And... I've had the same color, 988, for four days. Not that I don't like 988, it's a very pretty green. I'm ready to move on. I'm kind of behind, I need to catch up today. <clears throat> I'm hoping that I get to do a new color today. We'll see. The light is in my glasses, it makes me look like I have like goofy eyes. Uh, I'm Remember the eyes of the guy from Roger Rabbit? Oh my gosh, right, Lloyd? yes. And he had the red eyes. I'm I tipping my from. glasses down because they're dark, so like my face is dark. <laughs> I'm a dork, I know. Welcome to our channel. So, for those of you returning, thank you for letting us irritate you another day. For those of you new, for our new subscribers, thank you so much. Don't have any liquids in your mouth when you watch us. That's a... Yeah. Disclaimer now. Yeah. So we have our handy dandy journals. I can't tip mine too far because I've got a bunch of crap in mine and it'll all slide out and then you'll get to laugh at me trying to pick it all up. It's comical though. So as you know we are doing our challenge for the new year is to do the 100 day challenge at the beginning of the, of the year for the first 100 days. So between now and April 11th we will entertain cats who are too high on nip. Luna is running around like he's seeing sound. I bought the mice that you put the actual dried herb in of catnip, and... She's a drug dealer. I never have bought those things. <laughs> High as a kite. Two in the morning. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if somebody's and, breaking in or somebody's just getting high. Yeah, he has no color in his eyes. That's creepy. <laughs> anyway, back to Focus. our regular scheduled program. Um, and so in doing the 100-day challenge, she has decided... Well, she can tell you what she's doing, but it's on her. I have decided to go through for the month of January <clears throat> and do um, cordon, correlating, coordinating yeah. holidays and match <laughs> projects I'm working on. How's that sound? Um, and so I, out there for I'm a telling you what, it's, I'm special. That's what I am. So I have my list because anybody who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with pen and paper. So, <clears throat> I will start off. I only have two more than she does this week because she's been kicking booty and taking names. Oh, um, yeah, we're weeks for the last two weeks. So, I need to find all my stash because somebody gathered up all of our 
wonderfulness because mm -hmm. I was busy putting on a great big beef stew for supper tonight. See, I'm one of those lazy moms. She makes the crock pot do all the work. I make the crock do all the work. I get everything ready and put it all in, and then I make the crock do the work because I'm lazy. And it's not tonight, lazy, it's smart. And then tonight, I will make biscuits to go with it, and we'll have biscuits and beef stew for supper. She went out on an adventure yesterday to find me some barley. <coughs> Excuse me, because I finally used up all the barley I had. And was saddened to find out just how many 20-something-year-olds do not know what barley is or what it is used for. I forget that us as a human race have forgotten how to cook. So, because I started cooking at a young age. It's not just cow feed, boys and girls. It's human feed. Actually, you don't want to feed a whole lot of barley to cows. Mm -hmm. Because it would make them bloat. Yeah. We actually sell it at the store, but it's for mostly, like, snacks for the animals, so. Horses like it, too, but you gotta mm -hmm. be careful with them, too. So, Squirrel. my <laughs> first project, there is your useless trivia for the day, boys and girls. There will be a test at the end. Actually, there won't, because I'm too lazy to do that, too. So. Yeah. Um, so, my first one, first project for... 100 days um, was obviously for New Year's. So I worked on January. Um, this one I started in May for a mania start. All of these were manias, I believe? <clears throat> not all of them. No. Actually, there's quite a few that's from two years ago. No, no, I meant the months. Oh, the months, yes, absolutely right. And um, my goal is to finish it for this month. So I am working on it, you know, sporadically throughout. This is where... Oh, that looks a lot better. Oh, I like this a lot better. I do too. Oh, pretty good. I can put up with the glare of my glasses. So you can put up with the glare opposed to so the dark where, stuff. You don't like the dark side? So Never that's where I got to on this. Um, again, I want to get this finished this month, so you will see it come out every week until I'm done. Um, my goal um, is to finish each one in the you know, the month of a course. Um, and then depending upon, so I think next week I actually have July in the rotation because obviously this won't go into July. So I put it in there um, because it's a birthday of a famous person. So, and you'll understand that as we go through. So that is my first one. Do you want me to do another one or do you want to do one? Um, why don't I just go ahead and show, and then whatever's left over for yours, you can show at the end. Sounds like a wiener. Oh, we forgot our count. Okay, don't let us forget our count. Okay. Remind us when we get to the yeah, end of the video. Yeah, let me see. Let me see this. Oh, okay. Notes. <laughs> Alright, so my first spin. Oh, wow. This is really nice. So, did you explain? So, she's not doing oh, yeah. the days like I am. So, I... Sorry, I forgot. Um... I kind of thought derailed. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Okay. Um, so, for instead of doing the correlation of a holiday and... Bless you. Oh, sorry. The holiday and a project, I am taking my spinning wheel of death. <clears throat> and every day I will spin, either morning it or night. Yesterday I spun when I was at lunch um, at work. But, um... It's the spinny wheelie thingy. It is. And I, I will spin, and it doesn't black it out, but I have these. It's just the spin app. Yeah, spin, wheel, spinning wheel <coughs> app. Yes. On. We have Androids, so it might be different for you guys, but I have these lovely paper uh, so trackers that my friend in the Netherlands sent me. Nice. And I messed up on the first week because I started tracking on what should have been Friday. But I put it on Monday because I always start at the top of a page. And so I fixed the days and then um, when Sunday hit, I said, okay, I'll start a new page. And so I am now on track. Don't you think it's just, <clears throat> excuse me, poetically perfect going with 2020 and oh, yeah. not knowing what day it is and... Honestly, guys, today's Sunday to me, so I don't what even... What is today? Today's Friday. Today's Friday, but it's Sunday because technically Tuesday was Saturday and yesterday was Monday and now today is Sunday. Welcome to the alternate universe of the witchy stitchers. Please make sure all hands and feet are inside the vehicle at all times and do not have drinks in your mouth. 
There you go. There we go. I hope you guys didn't get confused on having to look at your calendar. So. There's going to be a whole population of people out there going, what day is it again? Oh, yeah, they're wearing red. Great. There you go. <laughs> so on the first, I spun a Raven's Reply. And it's by Misty Purcell. Look at this color palette. Is this I what love just, like, this color palette. And that's all the colors. just like sit and pet it? And they stitch up so beautifully. See, only stitchers would get that. Because if I said that to anybody else, they'd be like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so I worked on the pumpkin. <clears throat> it's so pretty. I love the pumpkin. I am absolutely in love with this pumpkin. I think the whole piece is awesome. Oh, it is. But this pumpkin has such... An oh, attitude. Gorgeous. So, yeah. I think I put... I don't think I... Put 154 stitches into it. Oops, my bad. Ready? <laughs> Show your project. Drinking my coffee. Don't choke. That's you, on air. That's not nice to tell them my secrets. I know. Okay. Because I'm just... Flipping stuff all over the place. So, Hi, the next one I worked on <coughs> was a. Um, actually, I don't see this one in here. Which one is it? The Halloween one. Oh, that wasn't in the box. Um, no, they not all the stuff was in the box. Okay, I'll knock it. No, it's alright. I'll go into the next one. We'll come back to it. Well, no, um, I'll pause. This. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. We had to go on a hunt because we put everything up. So, my next project was, um, it was Happy New, Happy New Year's Day. Happy New Year's Day. Say that to guys fast. Special. The only project that I have that has cats in it is my um, Halloween wall hanging. Which is surprising since we have four. I know, right? And so <clears throat> I worked on this one, <clears throat> excuse me, on the second, put in 167 stitches. And actually I thought I did pretty well. Um, I thought you did I great. I finished the kitty and I did these little hoopty doos and then I finished, so this is the same thread, so then I came over here and finished off that thread there. In Minecraft we would call those potion bubbles. Play Pac-Man. Does that count? All right, what you got? All oh, right. oh, oh! Before you go, I got a project made. Project bag made. We gotta get ours made for our winners. For I know. But somebody, for my late Christmas present, got me an ironing board. Mine died the week before Christmas. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks before Christmas. I remember? I it know died. framing stuff was a deal. And. Uh, I had to do all of my sewing ironing, and I use a towel for everything. Um, the skillet blew up on me. Oh, okay. Same um, stick. Yes. Anyway, the... Um, the ironing board The broke. ironing board broke. Sorry, train of thought. And so I put a towel down and was using it, and... It's very difficult when you're doing large pieces like quilt bindings and things like that. So I didn't get a lot of things done that I wanted to get done before Christmas. But, like I said, somebody bought me a new ironing board. So, now I can get back to my quilting. It's very nice, too. I'm very happy. It's very nice. It's one of the big 19-inch ones or whatever it is. And it's awesome. Jinx. Hey, you're going to steal get my coffee. out of the underneath here. So, all right, you're up next. All right, so the next thing I spun was my giraffe, which I can't remember. I could pull out my old planner, but I don't remember when we started these guys. Do you? I didn't start him. No, no, but you started Gimma. But I think, did I do Gimma at the beach, or did I do Gimma the you Patriotic You did the Patriotic Gimma. Gimma. Because I think that was in June. Was it in June? Was when I started her. I think it was June... We started them together, whatever it was. I think it was June 17th. Go ahead and I All right, it. so anyway, this is where I'm at. I, hold on, I'll pull my book out. But all I did was a bunch of pink. Um, 
The patriotic giraffe I started on the 21st of June, and the beach giraffe I started on the 25th of June. So it was on the 21st. On so the 21st, okay. Anyway, that's all I got done. I put in 56 stitches. I worked on this after I got home from work, so I was just really tired, but um, I still needed to do my stitches for the day, so I put in a handful so that I could say I stitched on it. Yeah. She's so pretty. I love that color palette. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a lovely color palette. It does. It's very pretty. I still need to vomit, but I don't like vomit. So we started this one. I don't know if I have a picture. Oh, I do. So we started this on the 19th of August. <clears throat> so this gentleman, let me see if I can get it right. Leonid Af. Remov. Afremov. Afremov. Um, he, it was a one year anniversary that he had passed away on the 19th of August. And so we started this, um, Morgan, myself, and Nicole with Stitching Happens. And, <coughs> excuse me, I think, if memory serves me, this is the first time that I've worked on it since we started it in August, I think. I think it is, yeah, because I, I haven't touched mine since then. I remember working on it since then. Um, I love this piece. I, and I had contemplated about putting this one in to, um, like, really put as a goal to finish this year. I don't think I'm going to because I have a lot of gifts that I want to get done for my family. But I definitely want to make a dent on this one because I really enjoy this piece a lot. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see that I have skipped a huge chunk. It's because I'm waiting on a thread order. Um, and so I went around this and hopefully my thread will be in today or tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and form this, delivery says it's been sitting in Denver since. After the sad message I got from one of our friends, I am starting to question them. So, I put in 124 stitches. The reason that this one got pulled on the third was because it was National Drinking Straw Day. Mm -hmm. And we all know there's straws at a restaurant. So this right here, this, this big chunk, um, actually says cafe. <clears throat> like I said, it's got a lot of oranges and whatnot in it. And I have a lot, well, we have all the colors. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I didn't have enough and I didn't want to start with one colorway and then, you know, one batch. You guys know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway. Dye lots. Di there you go. Thank you. Words. So, They're a thing. Right? So. I have a mess. What do you have next? A mess. I do too. Must <laughs> be us. We have a new hire at work, and him and I, yesterday we got trained on the forklift, but we were having kind of an off morning, and finally he looks at me about 20, 30 minutes before we went to lunch, and he's like, should we really be trained on the forklift today? Shut up. <laughs> we both went in and ended up having coffee with lunch, and it was fine, but I mean. That's because coffee fixes everything. <laughs> I actually ended up spilling it on my shirt, but it's fine. Yes. Um... It just looked like it merged somebody. So anyway, for the third day, I pulled Mother Moon. And this beast has been in progress for... I think this is the second year now. Something like that. I started her for Joan... I think I started her for my second Joan in July. I think you did. And... I put her in timeout. Where I am. I worked, I filled in her cheek and I put in one single bead. Um, this was a quick morning project. You worked in that before you went, I worked did. It in I put in 38 stitches. <laughs> it was just real quick. I got up early and spun and I had some chores I needed to do before I stitched, but it was just a real quick project. I was going to work on it, but I had um, the flower I needed to do that night. So. Um, I'm hoping to pull her out of time out. I'm discouraged with myself with making the mistake I did last summer. 
that was in January, July. No, we did it during one of the twenty. I did it during one of the twenty-four hours. Oh, that was in April. So in April, <coughs> I made a big boo boo, and yeah, I have not forgiven myself for it yet. I think it's time to move on. I know it is, but I just Moving don't want to mess up again. All right, for <coughs> the fourth, it was free flower basket day. Now, if you're going to give was... me free flowers, I will be the happiest person on the planet. Okay. So, <clears throat> I had started this one. I know that it has been at least 10 or 15 years ago. Um, mm -hmm. I had started the gift for someone, and um, the book came out in 96, so... It, you were little when I started. I was say it. I was a baby so, when you started. Well, I'm gonna go with that 15 this year mark. Anyway, I started it for somebody. Um, found out that they really didn't care for it too much, um, and then just kind of set on it. Um, <clears throat> I realized after I had bought the pattern that you were supposed to repeat the color number 550, which is a real deep purple you had to refer to it twice because the main color choice of threads was anchor. And at the time when I started it, I did not have access to anchor. Um, and I didn't want to have, you know, the same color to be the graduation. And what it is, I actually used it when I stitched with it the other day, um, right here. Um, but you would put 550 beside itself twice, and it, I mean, obviously it wouldn't give it the accentuation that it needed. So, um, I didn't work on it for a really long time, and I cannot remember where we were at. I think we had actually come up here to Denver, going through, because at this time we lived over on the Western Slope. Um, and we went into a quilt shop that sold, she had Anchor, she had DMC, and I'm pretty sure she had JP Coats, which for us old stitchers, that's what I learned to actually embroidery with was JP Coats, because at the time that was all you could buy at Ben Franklin's, which was where my mom bought the thread to teach me to embroidery when I was, you know, yay big, dating myself here. <laughs> Ben Franklin's was like the greatest craft store on the planet. There yeah, was a Ben Franklin's up in Washington. I know. And I, I, I love, love that place. There was one in Delta, too. That's right. <clears throat> but they didn't have the fabric um, like the one the other one did. No, they had a pretty good selection, though. I, I bought remember a lot of your, it. Oh, yeah. I bought a lot of your clothes fabric at Ben Franklin's. I remember the jelly beans and the fudge. <laughs> yeah, the fudge was good. And they had stationery. <gasps> they had a whole aisle of writing stationery. It was awesome. Squirrel. So anyway, um, when I realized that they had it, um, I was able to get the two. And you can see a huge difference between the oh, two. Yeah. So if you would have just went with 550, see the huge difference in colors? I mean, it's, yeah. it's going to make it's a huge difference big, in the yeah. lilacs. Yeah. So anyway, after I found it, I was like, oh, I can, I can pick this back up and work on it. And that's when I found out that the person that I was making for didn't like it. And so it's set in a timeout, and then... You notice we have timeout spots for have, our projects. We have timeout. So I pulled it back out, and, and working on it the other day, I realized that I really enjoy this stitch a lot. Um, it won't get done this year. I can promise you that. But I'm hoping that it will get a lot of love. So we'll see. So, All right. What you got next? So on the fourth day, I worked on two things. It was Mill Hill Monday. Sarah, your butterfly is gorgeous. Oh, I love her butterfly. I think I'm going to put that in. So the Jim Shore has got the farm animals. He's got the cow and the oh, pig. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think he's got four of them. I want to get those for 22. Yeah. And I think I'm going to copy her and get her butterfly, oh, yeah. too. I want to get the love pumpkin and the house and the candles that are on the back of yes. this. They have. No, I saw the Jim Shores. They actually came across on an ad on the... I think it was the stitchery. Oh, was it? I think. Anyway, they were on sale. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> but I didn't buy them <clears throat> because 
I'm saving them to get for 22. So this is called Autumn Woods. I actually need to... Oh, sorry. I've watched you. I've learned. I, you've learned from the master. So I started my first Quakey Tree. And the next Monday, so on the, yeah, the 11th, I will pull some beads. So I've got my ne beading needle ready. I, I was intending on working on beads the other day. Um, but, um, sorry. Um, I forgot to turn my phone on. <laughs> sorry, guys. I just ran out of time, so I had to go to work. Um, it so, looks so pretty. it is. And I can't wait to get the beads because ah, they're actually the branches and the definition in the tree trunk. Yeah. So, it's and they're not so actually called quakey trees. They're... They're aspens. They're aspens. But we grew up knowing them as quakies because my dad used to always tell me that when the wind blows through the leaves, they quake. Mm -hmm. And if you ever watched a, a, a leaf on an aspen tree, it they quakes. shake. It yep. quakes. So, anyway, that's what I grew up knowing them so, as. And too. she passed on to me, so yeah. I mean, that's all I've ever known. So, for my Mail Hill Monday, because I was able to incorporate three of my four projects into. Um, you know, the, the day, I think one of them I have is, let me see here. Yeah. So, um, next week, actually next Monday is national milk day. So I was able to incorporate latte. So I ended up pulling out white pumpkins cause that's the only one that I couldn't fit into a Monday. I mean, excuse me, fit into a holiday. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry guys. For, um, the month of January. So I went ahead and, and just worked on it on this Monday because I didn't want to lose a Monday yeah, for, for, sure. for it. Um, and this one will come out again. I mean, it, it will still get love on an appropriate Monday. It's just a matter of, you know, when it gets spun. I think I'm going to copy her next month Yeah. because in looking at February's holidays, there are very few holidays that will correlate I think with you found four. the project four or five. Yeah, not enough to. So I'm going to copy her next month, mm. kind of change it up a little bit. I think we explained this actually last week. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put the remaining projects that I have into the spinny wheel of death um, and try something new. We'll see how that goes for March and then we'll go from there. Um, but like I said, I worked on white pumpkins and. I don't remember. Let's see you how many stitches. And... Yeah, I ended up with 227. Um, I'm trying to do at least 200 stitches, essentially every time it comes out. So 200 stitches a month. Um, so I should be able. And this one is is going up really really fast. Um, so I worked here and put some more of this background in. I wanted to come down here and work on some of these beads, but the thread that I use is this lighter color in the pumpkins and I'm kind of putting it off to last because it's white and I think it's 712. I, I think. think you have some ecru in there um, too. And some ecru and, and it's light and I don't want to get it dirty. Um, I finished up, I think, I think I finished all of this actual stitching. I might have a smidge more left, but I don't think so. I think I was able to get it all done, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then I did some beadwork down here and some beadwork up here. So I love this piece. This is probably, I say this about every one of them, but I think this is probably one of my favorite mill hills that yeah, I've done. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I've done several of them. I've given a lot of them away. I've made some of them for, for teacher gifts. I actually... <laughs> Um, it was so funny because, you know how your memories come up on your phone, you know, pictures and stuff. And I had one, um, and I saw that we have a, a fellow foster bird, and I apologize, I forget your name. But she showed the, um... Oh, they had the knit mouse. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> and maybe, maybe it was Sarah. I don't think so. I don't think it was mm. Sarah. Anyway, it was the hummingbird one. Oh. Who was that? Was that It Carol? was Sarah. No, it was Sarah. Did or no... They both have it. Carol and Sarah have it. Sarah got it for Christmas or something. I can't remember which holiday it was. Is that what it was? Yeah. Anyway, and, and it's the, it looks like the, um, 
like the bleeding hearts or whatever mm -hmm. flowers and then it's got the hummingbird on it yeah i had made that one for my grandmother um but the one that came up on my memories was one that i had made her teacher hmm. um way back like you know 900 years ago literally and it was a, a schoolhouse scene whatever and the I thing know. i remember most about it was you that when it. i was working on it i ripped the paper and how am I going to fix this? And so we got real creative with Scott's tape, and it worked, and it turned out great. She but, loved it. Oh, yeah, and she had it even when she was became, it. Miss Snook or no? It no, was, it was Miss R. That's right. And when um, she moved into her principal's office, it sat on one of the top shelves, and I was very. She was a good so. teacher. She was a good teacher. She was a very good teacher. Debbie. No, it is a potato. I think she comes over just to be famous. I think so. She's so pretty. All right. You're beautiful. Okay. What you have next? So I've got a persnickety potato. A persnickety potato. She's like, Mom, talk to her me. <laughs> You're wet. Her. She's wet. Yeah. Have you been in fighting with your brother or your sisters? Oh, you are wet. So... I spun him. Oh, and Snoopy says hi, too. Oh, yeah. Can you say hi? You can say hi, too. Okay. So, this is where I'm at. I finished out his... Well, I didn't finish the colors. There's still some of the greenery over here on this wing, but I finished this wing off. It's so sweet. And then I worked on more of the feathers over here. I jumped. You're so brave. Yeah. But I had a good base to count off of, so we're good. Yeah. Um, I put in, so I didn't say on the mill hill, but on my mill hill, I put in 107, I put 149 in on this one. Wow, you did good. So I want to get this done. I actually kind of have an idea to change it up a little bit, but I don't know how I'm going to execute the plan. So you'll come up with a plan. Oh yeah, I always do. So what's next? All right, so for me, um, on that same... Actually, I think I missed this day. So on the 5th, I did miss a day. On the 5th, it was, I know, right? It was National Bird Day. Um, and here's an, I didn't even realize this, or if I did, I forgot about it. Um, so as I told you guys last week, I am obsessed with stamps and letters and things along those lines. And Lisa, to answer your question, yes, I do know about the International Pin Pal Group. Thank you for telling me about that. Um, I was part of that group for a very, very short period of time, but I left the group because I do not want to start any new projects this year, and it would not be fair to my pen pals. So I'm hoping that in 22, when I'm unrestricted on, of my own accord, that I can participate in that. But thank you for telling me. I appreciate that very much. Um, and also, Lisa, while we're mentioning <laughs> you, thank you for the shout-out. So, Forest City... Stitcher. Yep. So that's an, I cannot say that ten times fast. Um, anyway, check her out. She's awesome. Awesome lady. Um, but anyway, so coming back to the stamps, um, I had bought this pattern a long time ago. Stop it. And um, when Preston and I first met, um, we met at a 4-H camp in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, and so we were still in high school. And we wrote letters back and forth all the time. I still have all of them. He still has all of his. Um, but I always made it a point to get the love stamps. Again, completely forgot about it. So I had started this one last year. I think I started it on the 1st of May. So it was one of my mania starts. And got this one out. This one is a goal to get finished. And this is how far I got um, to get this finished by Valentine's Day to give him. So that being said, um, I was working on this the other night and I was looking, so this one has two uh, patterns in it. And I still, I have one of these stamps in mint condition that I want to frame very similar to how they did this one when I get this cross stitch done. Don't know if I'll make this one. He doesn't care for this one so much. So I don't know if I do, I will probably have Morgan dye me a piece of fabric <laughs> that is this turquoise color, or green color, um, to match the stamp as close as possible. Because um, I don't want to do all of that 
stitching in there. That's a crazy amount of stitching. Yeah, that's a back right there. So as I'm going through this and looking, so like I said, we met at a, at a 4-H camp in Kansas City, Missouri when we were 17, which was in 1989. And as I'm going through, you know, reading the back of this, all the different patterns and whatnot on it, I get down to the bottom and I realize what year... I didn't even realize that this was the year that, that he and I got together. <laughs> I, I, and if I did, I totally forgot about it. So I thought that was kind of a, it was meant a to poignant be. thing. Exactly. So again, this is another one that you guys will see quite a bit because my goal is to get this one done by Valentine's Day so I can give it to him. Don't know if I'll have it framed because I don't know if I'll be able to get it in and oh, yeah. get the mat cut. Because um, I know that there's some delays. I've been hearing some kind of horror stories but yeah. as or soon as I get cut right or whatever as soon as I get the border done I could at least take it in and get the, the, the measurements yeah. done so anyway goals and this one I put in <clears throat> oh where did it go I put in 318 stitches on this one yeah. All right, so I don't have the booklet with me, but it's fine. Um, I pulled Liberty Quaker out on oh, I don't have that one either. I didn't the, have that. on Tuesday this week, or last week, I mean. No, this week. Um, Again, we don't know what day it is. No, that was Friday. Um, I just worked on the ba the blue banners down here. We were watching you this. Did a bunch. I did. I actually got all the way across. So, so you're clear to the edge. I am. I just need to do the red and the white that go around it, and I'll be Very at the edge. Cool. Um, we were watching Mysteries of the Abandoned, so I just did I love that show. something that I can focus on because um, they talk about like abandoned sites and stuff, and it's Very extremely easy, easy because I mean they'll. All right, last <coughs> night they were talking about. Um, oh God, what was it? It was like underground tunnels in um, uh, Odessa, Ukraine. Yeah, and it, it was like Very cool. You, I was really intrigued by that. So very easy to lose count, that's for sure. Yeah, and I was actually working on a different project that was last night. Oh, there we go. So then the next one that I had was on the sixth. Um, the sixth was National Bean Day. Now take that for what you want. You could For have us. green beans, you could have pinto beans, you could have coffee beans. You see where I'm going with this. So I decided to work on coffee. Coffee. Um, Debbie with Creatively Yours. Hey, Debbie. Hi. And Alice. Hi, Alice. I don't know if Alice watches this she anymore, um, but if she does, hello. And Debbie, Poe po just gave Snoopy a kiss. No, you're very sweet. Um, both of those lovely ladies are in the Netherlands. Debbie's video is Creatively Yours. Check her out. She's awesome. And uh, Alice's Honey Bee Stitch. Yeah, Honey Bee Stitcher Honey on Stitcher? Boss Tube. Uh, not Instagram. Boss Tube Instagram. Instagram. Hello. Yeah. I need to wake up. Um, anyway, I pulled this out and I worked on this for words. I did 156 stitches on this one. And I love this. This is definitely one that I want to get done I love this, this piece year. so much. So I worked, I think I only pulled two pieces, two threads. So I pulled this one out and worked on it. One of them is Picnic Basket and the other one, I think this one is Palomino. I don't think you, you could have worked on Picnic Basket because I have it in my hedgehog. I don't remember what color this one was then. I'll think of it. Anyway, but I worked on this little bit of the flower here, and then I worked this came way over. This was, I ran out of thread. I had two stitches left. Oh, no. So, anyway, but I was very happy with my progress on this. I don't know. I haven't put my initials in. You're supposed to put your initials in the long hair as you go. I think I might wait and do them last and pull uh, one color to do that. Um, I'm thinking maybe a real deep blue um, because this is more of the, the darker colors minus the whiskey. Yeah. Does that sound right? I think whiskey's in there. Uh, brandy. Brandy, that's right. Brandy's in there. Anyway, that was the one I worked on for National Bean Day. 
because we need beans. Or in my planet, we just need coffee. I say we just need coffee, which I need more. Um, there's more. Yeah. I know. Sorry, guys. I just watched Stabby attack Poe for no reason. Um, typical siblings, right? Poe's the old one of the older ones. So, um, yeah. On okay. Wednesday. This was another Mysteries of the Abandoned piece. We were actually watching about animals taking over places. So I worked on the Autumn Grapes. Cool. So this was another one. No, it wasn't a Mysteries of the Abandoned. We were watching um, the other one. He was down here at VIA and stuff like that. Secrets of the Underground? Underground Secrets? Like secrets that. of the Underground. Yeah. We don't anyway, watch they were talking chick about all the tunnels and stuff that are supposedly under DIA. And of right. course, you got turned away because you know conspiracy theory, blah blah blah. Anyway, so I finished off these two grapes and I went up and then I started down Harry Potter's glasses. Oh yeah, I thought they looked like uh, cherries. Cherries. Yeah. Um. So I did that and I pulled out um nine oh no yeah two oh nine and. I think it was 208. It was the darker one. Oh, yeah. So 208 and 209. Yeah. And started filling, and then I hit 119 stitches, and I was like, okay, time to stop and work on the project that you're supposed to be working on for these 10 days. Good attitude. <laughs> so, yesterday was. Yesterday? Yesterday was. Today's the 7th. Or no, today's the 8th. So yesterday was National Harlem Globetrotters Day. 1927, I believe. I'm going from memory here, so don't take that one to the bank. They played their first game, and of course, you know, they're known for their red, white, and blue basketballs. I actually got to watch them play in a game. Um, it, obviously, it wasn't the original Harlem Globetrotters, because, you know. <clears throat> but I got to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play um, in a game when I was a kid. Um, and then we also had a team that came to our little tiny town when I was a kid that was kind of a knockoff knock of that, and they played donkey basketball. It was hilarious. The funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, nothing will make a referee happier than when your donkey takes a giant dump on the basketball. Just a visual for all of you lovely ladies out there today. So, and gentlemen. being red, white, and blue, I worked on Gemma, the Patriotic. And this was another one. I'm pretty sure that we started this one with Nicole, too, didn't mm -hmm. we? I can't remember. You started it the same day I started mine. Was that this one? Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, and I put in... Dobby, you can't put it underneath there. <laughs> But I Sleepy can put into the up. refrigerator. Um, I put in 112 stitches in her yesterday. And she looks really wonky. It looks like a... I can't decide if it's an alien or the top of a key. I thought it looked like but an alien. But this is her nose. And Snoopy then, of course, part of her patriotic outfit. My goal... I don't know if I'll, I'm going to get this one done this year. I'm going to try really hard because I would love to finish this one to hang up as part of our patriotic display. Um, I would like to put patriotic stuff up starting the end of May because you've got Memorial Day, you've got Flag Day in June, of course, 4th of July. Um, just take it all the way through September because you got 9 11 in September. Exactly. So, I mean, honestly, Snoopy, please stop. patriotism is, you know, it's kind of in our DNA. Welcome anytime in our house. So, that was what I worked on yesterday. All right. So, Going along with the 7th, I finally pulled out, 7 days in, um, I finally pulled out Hogwarts, so... Hoggy Warty. I have been up to my gills working, mm -hmm. getting in the rest of my long shifts. But I, and I... Oh, do you want to take that down? Oh, it's sorry. It's taking really long. There sorry. we go. So, when I pulled it out, I worked on the A... And then I started on the R, and then I pulled out the purple that fills the R, but I never got to it. So, 
tonight probably I will um, finish the purple off. See, this is what happens when you give your children drugs. Okay. <laughs> Luna um, normally plays with I don't even know where Luna is. So this is another month-long project that I'm working on. I've showed you guys this one before. Um, I have lost my thread. I have found my thread. If I don't put that up, I will end up losing it. Luna tried eating so, some of my thread the other night. Luna was, was being a brat. So I started I'm covering this up because the pattern is on the other side and, and it's so it. Yeah. So I started the Bee Fairy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm pretty sure I started this one in November. Maybe it was December. I can't remember when it was. I thought you said it was November. I don't remember. Anyway, this is where I've got to it. I've made the round on the bee. And I worked on this one. On the second, I did 103 stitches on this one. This is another one that is on the list to get done this month. Uh, this is for my bestie's birthday. Her birthday is next month. <coughs> so I want to give myself plenty of time to get it done and get it framed. Lots and lots get it mailed. Goals. Yeah, lots of goals. Alright, so my <coughs> final Work one, on minus one that I haven't shown yet. Last night at lunch, I spun my Mirabilia. Which I was hopeful that I would get this one early on. It's so pretty. And I love her so much. This one was another start with Nicole. With the three of us. <laughs> Maybe we should just film the cats. Because they're much more entertaining. I'm sorry. Than I, I, I have a small distraction sitting on the floor over here. <laughs> she's gathered up two of the knit mice. And she's just. And she's just like. <laughs> anyway. She's like what do you look at? <laughs> How does this go? Okay. Um, this is huge. So, this is how big she's going to be. But right now, so I worked on her hair and her tail. So, in, did I say May? I think it was May, April or May. I have her in as a month long uh, focus piece. So, her and a couple others will be a focus piece. So, my goal is to pull the beads out next time. And get a little bowl out and get some beads put in so that the holes don't drive me nuts. Look at that. So. <clears throat> so I don't remember. When did we say we started this one? Uh, Mania. It was a Mania start. Was it a Mania start? It was. So <clears throat> we actually saw this one with um, Christine Stitch All the Things. And she actually just showed it in her whip parade, too. She did. She showed it in her whip parade. She's way ahead of us. Um, yeah, she's rocking. Right. So, prickly but cute. Cute. And my goal was to finish <clears throat> a cacti every month, which would not finish it, but um, as you will see, I kind of expanded a little bit. So last night, I... Okay, so let me back up. Yeah. I had, Tell one story started, to get to the next story. I know, right? So I had started Blossom to begin with. That was I what I um, was my fo focus on well, she was in the May. And yeah, she was the center. And because I had more thread on her, I was able to jump over here and do a little bit on Chloe. Well, if I have a strand of thread on my um, needle, I like to sew with it if I can. But I don't like to jump. I... I hate to jump because inevitably I will mess up. And so um, I went ahead, I counted 400 times, it matched, finished off the strand, and so I just had that smidge of her hanging out there. Well, last night I finished Blossom, and, and what I wanted to do was to finish Blossom and to finish Chloe um, for January. Well, in having to work on her pot, I had thread left over, or excuse me, it wasn't her pot, it was, what was it I had the blue out? Oh, it was for the blue for the bumblebee. And you'd went up and started working so on it. So I him. went up and worked on Spike, and then when I finished her pot, I had some thread left over, so I went ahead and I worked on Spike's pot. So, <coughs> excuse me, bouncing back and forth. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys. 
I'm hoping that. <clears throat> I'm I brought him alfalfa if she's choking to death. <clears throat> You'd think it wouldn't be fair, but it is. Anyway, um, as I finish up, so her pot is completely done now. So I doubt if I'll work on him anymore because I have to finish this pot before I can go on up into him. But her colors of green match or start out this little guy over here. And I apologize, I do not did not look up his name before we started the video. Um, so maybe in finishing her up, I can also start over here. Again, jumping. Wish me luck. Huh. So, but that's She's where that, I was so happy the blossom is finished. So, <clears throat> this one will come out again. You will hopefully see this one um, throughout the year. Yeah. Um, as I work on it and get it done. Yeah, it so, works. Yeah, I'm, I love these little guys. They're just super fun. Yeah. So, you want to show that one? Oh, you showed that one. All right, so we're good. All right, so the last thing that I've been working on, and I am three days behind, so I'm going to catch it up today before I work on today's project. It is my temperature garden. And I've only had to repeat one color so far. Rub it in. And it's so tiny, and I'm not going to pull it out of here, but it's just so tiny. And it's on 25 count Lagana. One over one, or no, two over one. Two over one? Two over one. They're very poofy. <clears throat> so I had started Sarah's temperature tree, which I'm absolutely loving. And so what I will do is, and today is that day, every Friday, I will pull out and do one strand of brown in the trunk. And then I will, you know, obviously do my my leaf for the day. I have kept up. Um, I've turned into, you know, one of those watcher peoples. I never thought I'd be one of them, but it's dad's job. <clears throat> I know, right? Um, to, uh, I see approximately when the high is going to be, and then I get back on and check it within, you know, an hour or so of that to make sure that we've reached our high. And then I know what it is so I can go ahead and, and stitch it. Yeah. That evening. So um, please stop. So this is where I'm at. Um, like I said, these three have remained, excuse me, four are consistent. Um, I've had three colors. I think so, yeah. Snoopy, please go lay down. Yeah, I've had three different colors. Today our high is only supposed to be, I want to say it was 36 is what I saw last night. Um... And so that being She's said, to look it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to look it up to see what it's supposed to be. And of course, yeah, my phone will cooperate. So our high today is only supposed to be, it looks like 39, which now I'm even more excited because I think if memory serves me, I'll be able to go back and use this first real pretty green. green. I think, I can't remember for sure. I'll have to look. Um, but I am loving this so much. I'm having so much fun with it. And like I said, today I'll get to work on <clears throat> another strand of brown. I don't know if I'll come back up here and do March. So January and February's branches are done. So I don't know if I'll take off and work on March or if I'll continue to work on finishing my trunk. I haven't decided yet. Um, I saw a post on... Uh, so Sarah has a Facebook page, it's Stitching Mommy, and um, a lady had put initials into it, and <clears throat> we had, um, where we run our cows out on our mountain property, um, we, Preston and I carved our initials into one of the quakey trees up there by where we would cut wood and whatnot. Um, so I might do that. Just because it's romantic and sweet. It is sweet. I might just do uh, like a heart and an N for our Oh last yeah, name. that would work. I don't know, but I like that. I know yeah. that I'm having a lot of fun stitching it. It's a great stitch, and I highly recommend it to anybody who's interested in. You know, not only does it give you your daily stitch to do, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. You know, to keep track of everything. So. 
Anyway. All right. So I <coughs> am on to plans now. Oh, before we go to plans, let's do our Oh, counts. yeah, that's totally fine. All right, so for last year, um, I only went 10 stitches over what I had. Um, I started my Hade. Oh, I never showed that last week. Oh, well. Or did I? No, and I forgot to grab Pandemic 2 because I got it restarted. And I will show it next time. I have to show it next time. Anyway, um, I basically just went 10 stitches up. So I had 65,000 plus. And for the month, I'm sitting at 1,177. Cool. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I finished last year with 166,450. And I... Um, so far for the month, as of last night, because I haven't stitched this morning, I am at 2,755. Yep. Um, my goal for the year, which is very lofty, and I don't know if I'll make it, but I'm going to shoot for 200,000 stitches this year. That's my goal. Yeah, I'm shooting for uh, 50,000. Doesn't seem like an impossible thing to hit. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I went a little lofty, but, you know, go big or go home. Yeah, So works for us. Um, future plans. So as I said, um, I'll be working on the bee fairy for my, for my bestie. Obviously the temperature tree. <coughs> um, I will work on, continue working on the stamp because I want to get it done for Preston for Valentine's Day. Um, finish up January because, you know, it's January. And, um, work on Prickly until I get another one of those done. Um... I also want to work on Aquarius. Um, I told you guys last month that that will be for my besties um, birthday next year. Um, our mill hills. Yep. Our we'll do, hill. the, do those every Monday. Um, I want to pull out the anniversary um, sampler that I want to get done for Preston and I for August. I don't know if I'm going to get it done. You can only try. I'm going to hope. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously our 100 day challenge, which will, um, my 100 day challenge for today, I drew, because it's National Male Watchers Day. Hmm. Well, you go to the rodeo to watch mostly men, some women. So there's some of us that go to right at rodeos. Um, and so this one will get at least 100 stitches. And this is where I'm at right now on it. I love that fabric. Isn't that really cool? So, that is my plans moving forward. How about you? So, um, I'm going to work on the this piece I'm about to show you. I have my flowers I need to catch up on. And then I'll just continue spinning on my wheel. So, uh, today I spun Funny Quilt, which was a Mania Star. And I struggle working on this because it's all in black. So I think the last time I worked on it was in August. Has it been that long? It has been. I took it with me thinking I could pull off working on it. And um, this fabric is some of the parchment I did over the summer. Um, and it's easy to see. It's light, but... In the truck, our seats are black, and so it kind of melds together with the fabric and all that. So, um, I'm going to work on it today and see where we can go from there. Cool. Sounds like a plan. <coughs> uh, so, I think that that's the beginning of our whip parade, as we talked about doing for you guys. Um, obviously, there's going to be some repeats moving forward, because, <coughs> excuse me, there are things that we want to get done, and... Projects that we want to get finished for gifts or goals or whatever. Yeah. Um, you will see moving forward in the in the weeks coming up until the end of the hundred day challenge. You'll see, um, you know how we change up what we're doing with. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're going to stay consistent with your spinning through Libra. I don't know. I, I want to see where we end up. I want to see how I feel after your birthday. Yeah. Well, that's where I'm at, too, is that I think once I get done <clears throat> with the 100-day challenge, then I'll focus more on, okay, I want to work on this and get this done. Yeah. Work on this. I think that's what I'm going to do, too. And then, too. you know, the monthly things will stay in there. Yeah. 
you know, to get them done. But anyway, it'll be what it'll be. Yeah. You have some haul to show that uh, you picked we up. have some haul. Well, we have. She bought them. They were, again, late Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. um, ordered during um, paid sale, yeah. actually. Um, she got this one for Preston and I. And Mini Kindred Claire. Spirit. Ah, how dare you fall. Not very big. This one is only it's a mini, yeah. <clears throat> 243 by 325. Um, so definitely will be on the radar to get started in 22. Yeah. So I have fallen down the Leonid Efremov uh, rabbit hole. Amazing artist. I love his artwork. And the one I was actually going to get in a diamond painting until I discovered that um, it was just a pattern you had to buy everything else. So I was like, well later. <laughs> so I got, um, the first one is called Farewell to Anger. And somebody posted that on the Hade page the yeah. other day. Finished. And I, Stunning. I love his work and I, I love his colors. I was going to say his colors. I love his it's titles that he has gorgeous. for them. Like Farewell to Anger. It's, it's pretty perfect with the way he did the colors. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't see our time. It's the same oh. color as the wall, yeah. so I couldn't see it. And then um, this one is, gorgeous. is amazing. That one is huge. I just realized that. Yeah. Size matters. Um, it's going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it. This one's almost ah, almost winter. Gorgeous. And that's honestly what our winters look like here. Huge. So. And then it snows, and it's just... Mm -hmm. It's really cool. And it's white. Everything's white. Yeah. I mean, it's actually green today, but yeah. it's been well, warm. <clears throat> yeah, we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Come on, Ed. Where are we going? <laughs> All right. So you can probably expect moving forward um, that this is probably going to be about the size of our videos because you can see, <clears throat> you know, we're each trying to do at least one different project a day to to work through our foot count. Yep. Um, and I actually, this just hit me, my whips will all be repeated twice. Three times. No, only a couple will have three. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, what are you setting at now? 44. 44. And, and I have exactly 100. Yeah, so you'll see different ones for her. You'll see repeats on mine. But I won't repeat until I pick all 44. Yeah. Well, and like I said, I have that goal for... <clears throat> the three main finishes, three project finishes, and then small bits here and there mm -hmm. for different ones. So so to all of you who gave us shout-outs this week, we appreciate you so much. Um, absolutely love watching your channels and seeing all of your beautiful mm -hmm. work. It's just, you never cease to amaze us. Mm -hmm. um, I still have three fabrics. Yeah, three fabrics. Uh, I am waiting to be sold um i will put our instagram and email and stuff in our description box i don't normally dye more until i sell the dye lot that are dye lot hello the batch that i did and you um, can go to on with on either on instagram or on facebook under witchy stitchers yeah. You're welcome to join. We would love to have you. We'd love to have you participate in our 100-day challenge. And that's where we both post. <laughs> I post on Instagram. She posts on Facebook. Yeah. So if you want to see what I'm working on, go to our Facebook page. If you want to see what she's working on, go to Instagram. I very, very seldom cross post. Once in a while, she'll be like, Mom, Mom. Okay. Only because there's so. certain people that like to see, like, our uh, Mill Hills, I try to remind her to post on there because no. Sarah's on there and... Yeah, well, and we don't have, we have, several of our friends that are on Facebook are not on Instagram. Yeah, so it's and I didn't realize that with the over. selling, um, I had a really nice lady from Stacy's page. Yes. She's like, I don't have Instagram, what do I do? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Well, and a lot of people don't. They have one or the other or none yeah. of the above. It's, yeah. Everybody's different, so. All right, folks, I think that we will wrap it up. We are We're almost over an, an hour. hour. Almost an hour. No, I have another video that we stopped. We're at like an hour and ten minutes. Did you stop it? I thought you just paused it. It stopped itself. It Oops. timed out.
Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so we will let you go, and we will hopefully see you back here next Friday, depending upon work schedules and whatnot. I don't um, actually work next Friday, I think, or it's a 4 to 8. Oh, that would be perfect, then. Uh -huh. All right, we'll come back and irritate you. So until then, enjoy your stitching. Have a wonderful day, and be safe. And remember to always be, be kind. kind. Bye. Bye.